Uh, we are going to create a simple application profile uh, for this record and uh, for this application profile we are going to use elements from uh, three different schemas namely uh, Dublin Core, uh, VRA and Lido. So if you look at this particular record uh, we have uh, some inscription on the teapot and maybe we should capture that information. Uh, we can capture title, description, uh, subject terms, I'm going to choose uh, title, uh, subject and description from Dublin Core and also I'm going to choose uh, agent information uh, from uh, VRA and uh, inscription information from VRA and also we're going to uh, capture uh, uh, object measurements information uh, from LIDO using a uh, LIDO element. So let's uh, get started so we are going to go to Eclipse and create our XML schema and let's call it application app profile And uh, once we uh, get started, if you see the in this uh, property section here, uh, uh, which is our uh, this is our namespace and this is our prefix, we can change it to app, so it will be a little bit more uh, descriptive. And let's uh, import our uh, schemas, and we are going to add import. Uh, go to HTTP next. Uh, I'm going to use Dublin Core Terms, which also includes Dublin Core Simple Elements, so I'm going to copy the schema location for Dublin Core Terms, finish, and you see Dublin Core element uh, uh, schema is important, if you click the schema uh, location here, and you can see its properties, and you see the prefix this is assigned by the Eclipse uh, here, it says PREF, so I'm going to change the DC terms. So it's going to be more uh, descriptive again as the identifier. And I'm going to import the next one. And let's import VRA. And let's copy a schema location. Uh, VR sch VRA schema location is include HTTPS. We need to remove S from uh, the URL here and finish. And again, if you click VRA, you see the prefix is just pref, and we can change it to VRA. And lastly, we are going to import Lido. And let's get the schema location. And let's see. It's important. If you click Lido, Perfect is set to Lido, so we don't have to worry anything about it. Let's save it. And first, uh, we are going to create a root element. So we need to create our root element. That's called metadata. And since it is going to be our root element, it has to be of complex type. So let's change the type to something that we just made up, metadata type. Now we can start adding those elements to metadata type. First, I'm going to add uh, title, subject, and description from Dalmi Uh Since this is an application profile that uses elements from different schemas, we are not going to simply uh, create those elements uh, uh, directly as we did before. But we are going to use element uh, add element reference option here. So, and you click here. First, it will come up like this because this is the the first element name in the list so by default this comes up but we can change it and if you go to the again this property section in the reference area just click this drop down list and click browse now we are going to change this element to title element from Dublin Core either you can scroll down or you can use search option here if you start typing tight if you know the element name so we get all these elements about title right this, this is from Dublin Core, so you can see namespace. This is from VRA, this is from VRA, this is from Lido. But the, one, the title element that we are going to use is from Dublin Core. So let's click OK. 
let's change the second element is a subject again at element reference and come down here and browse for the element that we are looking for which is subject so again we are going to use one from Dublin core and uh, description element again from Dublin core So we picked uh, these three elements from Dublin Core. And uh, let's uh, choose uh, agent and inscription elements from uh, VRA. Again, at element reference. So we then we need to change this association underscore association element. Browse. And you can see we have both agent and agent set. Again, we know from uh, VRA schema that agent set actually serves as a kind of wrapper for agent element so we need to get that agent element with this wrapper so it will be more consistent with the original schema in that regard so let's get the agent set which also has the agent element in it and let's, let's do the same thing for the inscription browse and this time let's scroll down all the way down to inscription again we have inscription, inscription set, and ins inscription wrap. This one comes from Lido, but we need the set element, which is from which is a wrapper uh, for inscription element from VRA. So let's pick that one. And lastly, let's check the object measurements uh, element from uh, Lido. The element reference and browse. So let's start an object. Uh, measurements wrap again this is from why this is wrapper element so let's capture that one which has the object measurement set information so we are good to go other aspects that if you want to set these elements required repeatable and etc uh, you can uh, change those uh, characteristics too so if you can uh, set multiplicity so we can say titles again you need to look at this uh, the whole collection whether you want to make this element required so for this case this make title uh, element uh, required uh, and uh, repeatable and subject element uh, same thing required and repeatable uh, description element uh, required but uh, uh, not repeatable agent element again we can uh, set required and repeatable uh, inscription same way uh, optional and repeatable That's because some uh, uh, items may not have any inscription on, on them and objects measurements wrap again uh, sometimes uh, probably should have measurements for all the uh, all these objects so let's make it uh, one or required uh, repeatable so I think uh, so far so good so let's save it and uh, let's uh, validate our schema okay so far so good again make sure that you know all these elements and uh, these uh, characteristics are set based on your uh, application profile uh, that uh, you have been working on assignment uh, 3.1 and 3.2 and finally in 3.3 so let's uh, an application profile schema is ready the next step will be is to create uh, uh, an instance uh, based on this schema